Ever wondered where one of the most powerful empires in the pre-Columbian Americas, the Inca civilization, originated from? Let's delve into the enigmatic beginnings of this fascinating civilization. The Inca civilization is believed to have taken root in the early 13th century, nestled in the Andean highlands of South America. Yet much of its origin is shrouded in myths and legends rather than concrete historical fact. One such captivating tale tells of Manco Capac and Mama Oclo, the legendary founders of the Inca dynasty. As the story goes, these siblings emerged from the sacred lake Titicaca, bearing a golden rod given by their father, the sun god. They were tasked to find a place where this rod would sink into the ground, signifying the location for their new, powerful civilization. From these humble, mysterious beginnings, the Inca civilization would rise to become an empire of unprecedented power. From the high Andes mountains, a new power was about to emerge. In the 13th century, a fledgling city-state nestled in the heart of the Andes began to stir. This was Cusco, the birthplace of the mighty Inca Empire. Over the course of the next three centuries, this modest beginning would evolve into the most expansive empire in the pre-Columbian Americas. The rise of the Inca Empire is a story of strategic planning, military prowess and visionary leadership. At the helm of this expansion was a series of dynamic leaders known as Sapa Incas, who led their people to unprecedented heights. One such leader was Pachacuti, whose name fittingly translates to He Who Shakes the Earth. Ascending to the throne in the mid-15th century, Pachacuti was a force of nature. He is often credited with transforming the kingdom of Cusco into an empire. Under his reign, the Incas embarked on a series of successful conquests, extending their influence from present-day Ecuador to Chile. But it wasn't just through military might that the Incas expanded. They were also shrewd diplomats who formed strategic alliances with other cultures. They offered protection and shared their advanced knowledge in exchange for loyalty. This diplomatic approach helped them build a vast and diverse empire that was held together by a complex network of roads, bridges and communication systems. The Incas were master builders and their impressive infrastructure reflects their sophistication. They built grand cities like Machu Picchu and developed advanced agricultural terraces that allowed them to thrive in the harsh Andean environment. They also established a centralized government and a comprehensive administrative system that allowed them to efficiently manage their vast empire. They had a sophisticated understanding of mathematics and astronomy and their kipu, a system of knotted cords, was a unique form of record keeping. At its peak, the Inca Empire was a force to be reckoned with, a vast realm that spanned a significant portion of South America. The Incas left an indelible mark on the history of the continent and their legacy continues to captivate us to this day. The Inca civilization was not just about power and conquest. It was a rich tapestry of unique culture and social systems. Picture a society where the language, religion and social hierarchy were as intricately woven as their finest textiles. This was the Inca civilization, a culture that thrived in the rugged Andes mountains. The Incas spoke Quechua, a language that still echoes in the highlands of Peru today. It was a language of the people, a medium that allowed the Incas to express their deepest beliefs, their fears and their dreams. Their religion was a complex blend of nature worship and ancestor veneration. The Incas believed in a pantheon of gods, with the sun god Inti at the helm. The Incas revered their ancestors, believing that they continued to exist in a parallel world and could influence the lives of the living. This deep-seated spirituality shaped their daily lives, their festivals and their monumental architecture. Speaking of architecture, the Incas were master builders, crafting cities out of stone, without the use of mortar. Machu Picchu, a city nestled high in the Andes, stands as a testament to their architectural prowess. This city, built in harmony with the surrounding landscape, was an urban masterpiece, complete with terraced fields, temples and residential quarters. The Incas also constructed an extensive road system spanning thousands of miles, which facilitated trade, communication and military movements. The Inca society was a complex hierarchy, with the Sapa Inca, or the Emperor, at the top. Below him were the nobles, the bureaucrats and the commoners, each with their defined roles and responsibilities. The Incas believed in a collective society where everyone contributed to the welfare of the community. 
This belief was encapsulated in the principle of Aini, meaning reciprocity or mutual aid. Indeed, the Inca civilization was a marvel of social organization and cultural richness. A civilization whose echoes can still be heard in the winds of the Andes, in the whispers of Quechua, and in the enduring legacy of their remarkable achievements. But even the mightiest empires must fall, and the Inca were no exception. As we delve into the fall of the Inca Empire, we find a blend of internal discord, foreign conquest, and the devastating impact of diseases brought by Europeans. The Inca Empire was already on the brink of collapse due to a civil war between two royal brothers, Huascar and Atahualpa. This internal strife severely weakened the empire, making it vulnerable to external threats. And an external threat was looming on the horizon. The arrival of Spanish conquistadors led by Francisco Pizarro. Pizarro, driven by lust for gold and silver, set his sights on the Inca Empire. With a small force of less than 200 men, he embarked on a daring expedition into the heart of the Inca territory. The Spanish, armed with superior weaponry and horses, creatures the Inca had never seen before, had a significant advantage. The pivotal moment in the fall of the Inca Empire was the capture of Atahualpa, the last Inca emperor. Despite being vastly outnumbered, Pizarro and his men, in a calculated move, ambushed and captured Atahualpa during a feast. The emperor offered a room full of gold and silver for his release, but the Spanish, unsatisfied with the ransom, eventually executed him, effectively ending the Inca rule. Yet the fall of the Inca Empire wasn't solely due to military conquest. The Europeans brought with them diseases such as smallpox, measles and influenza, to which the Inca had no immunity. These diseases decimated the Inca population, further crumbling the empire from within. The fall of the Inca Empire was a complex interplay of internal conflict, foreign invasion and biological disaster. Despite their advanced civilization, they were unable to withstand the onslaught of these combined forces. The fall of the Inca Empire marked the end of a remarkable chapter in human history. Though the Inca Empire fell, its legacy lives on. The echoes of the Inca civilization can still be heard in the modern world, particularly in Peru and other South American countries where their influence is deeply woven into the fabric of society. In the realm of language, Quechua, the tongue of the Incas, continues to be spoken by millions today. This language, once used to issue royal edicts and to weave intricate tales of Inca mythology, now fills the air in marketplaces, homes and fields, a testament to the enduring influence of the Inca civilization. Turning to architecture, the Inca were master builders, creating structures that have withstood the test of time and the elements. Their cities, such as the famed Machu Picchu, stand as silent witnesses to their architectural prowess. These sites, preserved and revered, draw visitors from around the globe, eager to catch a glimpse of the grandeur that was the Inca Empire. Their innovative agricultural methods, such as terracing and irrigation, uh, revolutionized farming and are still in use today. The Inca understanding of the natural world was profound and they utilize this knowledge to their advantage, a practice that continues to inspire modern agricultural techniques. The Inca also left a cultural legacy that is alive and vibrant. Their traditions, rituals and myths still hold a sacred place in the hearts of their descendants. Festivals that celebrate Inca deities, the sun and the moon, the earth and the stars, are held year after year, generation after generation, keeping the Inca spirit alive. Their artistic expressions too continue to inspire. Inca motifs and symbols are frequently seen in modern Peruvian art and crafts, a homage to a civilization that valued beauty and symbolism. So the legacy of the Inca civilization is far from being a relic of the past. It is a living, breathing entity, an integral part of the cultural identity of millions of people. From their mysterious origins to their tragic end, the Inca civilization remains a fascinating chapter in our human story.